80 is the new 60. We're living longer than ever before. But we don't just want to live longer, we want to live better. He has earned nine Emmys, two Golden Mics, and numerous other awards for his investigative reports and broadcast specials. He's board certified in two medical specialties, internal medicine and emergency medicine. He teaches doctors and students and helps run emergency rooms and hospitals. He is a full-time clinical professor of medicine at UCLA and one of the founders of the High Ethics and the Internet Committee, formed for the protection of privacy and to ensure validity of health information on the internet. Dr. Bruce doesn't just play a doctor on TV, he's a real doctor. Let's be clear. Jolie made a very aggressive decision. She felt it was right for her, it's not right for everybody. I work in an emergency room. I see the effects of drunk driving all the time. It's devastating. And this is the season of celebration and giving, so celebrate. But before you and your friends go out, choose a designated driver. Congressman Gary Miller and Adam Schiff, thank you so much for joining us. Let's start with you, Mr. Schiff. Oh, I'm so Pleasure. glad you're here. Nice this is you. such a thank huge you. issue. It's the law. You cannot be turned away from an emergency room. You must be seen and you must be evaluated. He smiles a lot. He doesn't mind being touched. And those were two reasons it was difficult for Anna and Matt to pick it up at first. I've known you for 15 years. I know. This is the healthiest you've ever looked, the happiest. How do you feel? How is it well, different? Uh, you know, I feel great, Bruce. Do antibiotics cure a cold? Fact or fiction? It relieves the symptoms of a cold. I mean... Antibiotics relieve the symptoms. Just fact or fiction? It relieves the symptoms. Fact. 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 Fiction. Fiction, fact or fiction, audience? Fiction. But doctors have problems too, and tonight our own Dr. Bruce becomes the patient. You're doing the right hip today, right? You say we're doing no, right hip. That's no, what no, we're doing. No, we're doing the left hip. After two years of suffering, to see what's wrong and know we can do something about it is amazing. Two hours and 25 minutes after the operation started, it's finally over. Well, it wasn't easy but it was worth it. Sometime during training, I get pretty dry. I run out of water. But there are misconceptions about water. Miss, <laughs> let's see if she has one. What's your name? Now, this is where I was sitting during the last earthquake. I saw the flower move. There's no way I would jump under this table. It is too small. And I am way too far from a door. So what I did was I jumped in the corner, nothing above me, crouched and covered my head. I want to tell you, first off, that I'm not just here as a doctor. My mom smoked her whole life. I lost her a year and a half ago. You have lots of reasons to quit. You want to live. Sounds good to me. I'm going to try it. If I don't stick to it now, I, I don't think I'll make it. You got all the right reasons. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Dr. Bruce was down to earth. He came at us. Um, not judgmental and as a person like not condescending and right away like he made a big difference anybody who wants to talk to me one on one we can spend a little time thank you guys it's time to take charge of your health with Dr. Bruce Hensel. Dr. Bruce Hensel. Dr. Bruce will cut through the muck demystify medicine and science and help you make the best choices best choices we want to thank the Strasburgs, Mary, Noe, Eleanor, Charles, Maureen, and her students, and the Weinbergs for sharing their stories with us. Thanks for watching, and please take good care of yourself.